the week and you didn't get punched World's gone crazy but I got a hunch We'll all feel better after Friday lunch Hey, welcome to Friday Lunch, the uh, show that brings you the best in East Nashville and beyond. And this is definitely a beyond moment because we have from uh, from the Ozark Mountains of Missouri, Joe Newbury, uh, a very talented multi-instrumentalist, songwriter, and personal hero of mine. So this is, uh, this is a already a, making the greatest hits moment of the Friday Lunch series, and I'm so glad to have you here, Joe. I'm, glad, you. I'm glad to be had. I will tell you that... I, I uh, am not from North Carolina. I got there as quick as I could. So I left Missouri in my 20s and moved. I didn't move to North Carolina. I went to visit a friend and my car broke down. I wish I had a more inspiring tale, <laughs> but that's what happened. That's and, pretty uh, good. And I, I stayed. I stayed. I have that, that uh, um, locked in my head because of the Mandolin Orange Now Watch House cover of your song. Oh, Missouri that's Waterland. how I first heard of you. Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah they, uh, they, do a, they do a great... They do a great version of that. As a songwriter, I love having my songs. They're sort of like your children. You you want them to be out there in the world and do good on their own. Um, I love Watch House's uh, version. Another real favorite version of Missouri Borderland is um, there's a Scottish brother and sister uh, that live on an island off the coast of Scotland. And... The way that young lady says my home state's name, she goes, Missouri. <laughs> so and so they start singing this. I am far away from home, with neither family nor friend. <laughs> never meant to stay so long in the Missouri borderland. Uh, it's like so okay, awesome. just sit. That, that, we're done. There yeah. you go. So wonderful. How, have you had many songs covered by other... I've, I've had a, a number of songs yeah. covered by and what an honor that must be every time. Yeah, but what happens usually is when they cover it, they do a great job, and so I have to do a different version, so I'm not doing a cover version of my own song. <laughs> uh, actually, these days, Missouri Borderland, I put it into um, a, a ballad form and sing it unaccompanied. Mm. I, I like I like doing a, a new take. Uh, Mike and I, uh, Mike Compton and I, when we um, get together for our uh, every couple of uh, months, we'll get together and have a rehearsal, a couple of days or three days. Mm. And we've been doing this long enough where we feel okay about making it ours. We we just recorded an album that's coming out sometime in the fall, and I wanted to do Joe Thompson's. Careless Love. Joe Thompson was the last African-American fiddler in North Carolina. Hmm. And I wanted to do that song. One of the things that I love about playing with Compton is we've played long enough that we can speak straight to each other. He said, you know, that sounds fine, but it's been recorded like that a lot. He said, what if you put the banjo in Doc Boggs tuning and sang Careless Love? And we tried it and it worked out really good. So, but um, uh, we like we like writing. We like writing in the tradition and about the tra- tradition. Yeah, that's why I'm such a fan, and why I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you. Uh, Doc Boggs is the tuning C G C E. Yes. Yeah, uh, it's his country blues. Yes, tuning. the country blues tuning. Yeah. Yes. What I love about country blues is that it's accessible to even a beginning climbing climber banjo player, mm-hmm. such as myself. This is one of the very first songs I learned. I kind of mm-hmm. learned it off the record and got the tuning like from that. And it's not, it doesn't got a lot of flash to it. Yeah. It's a lot of, a lot of downstairs you can play it frailing. That's how I do it at least. Um, so I appreciate that kind of music as yeah. well, you know. Uh, the thing about old time music, it's, it's, it, it's there in other forms of music, but it, it particularly in old time music, when you're playing a tune, You play, 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 play. And it doesn't matter whether you've been playing six months or your whole life. When you get done with the tune, there's that little settle. You get done and you go. Everybody does that. It's it's satisfying. Mm -hmm. And it and and uh, somebody will say, well, I'm not very good. It's like, how much fun do you have? Oh, I have a great time. It's like I'm in the same place. Mm -hmm. Whether you've been playing six months or, you know, 50 years. Yeah. I can't wait to talk more, but uh, enough from me. Let's get a song going, I think. Sure. If, if, you, if you feel like it. Do you want to set this one up? Or? Um, do, do you want, do you want, 
uh, sad? Do you want happy? Do you want, uh, what do you want? My man, I want you. Well, whatever, whatever you feel like in your heart. I'll, I'll do one that I wrote after um, hearing Doc Watson say something. Um, uh, Doc was, uh, when, you know, being, uh, being blind, he would get sound check done and then he wouldn't, he'd sort of hang out in the green room until mm-hmm. it was time to go play. Mm-hmm. Well, my friend Bob Roof, <laughs> my friend Roop said, Doc, how you doing? And Doc said, well, I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good. And then he paused and then he said, well, I'm too old to drive the train, but I still love to hear the whistle blow. I mean, how can you not write a song after that? You sort of have to, I think, start a song. You sort of have to start a song. Like yeah. That. I think it's in the yeah, rules. Blow the whistle. Yeah, no, totally. So, uh, before you kick it, let's, yes, uh, let's get you front and center and I'll just tweak these cameras here a little bit. When I was a young man and I was in my pride, I worked on the Katy and the good old Mopac line. I started as a brakeman, but he life was fine. But I'm looking in the rear view, all I see is time. I'm too old to drive the train, but I still love to hear the whistle blow. Started making railroad green along. Whether it's a highball or a freight winding slow Too old to drive the train, but I love to hear the whistle blow Worked up to conductor, and we ride all night Finally get a little sleep just before daylight Once we sidetracked at a whistle stop to get a little Pretty gal who served the beans became my heart's delight. I am too old to drive this train, but I still love to hear the whistle blow. Started making railroad green a long, long time ago. Whether it's a highball or a freight line, slow. Too old to drive the train, I love to hear the whistle blow. Crescent serves New Orleans, and Southern serves the South. I'm an engineer, were words that felt good in my mouth. I started at the end of steam, but I learned the diesel's worth. I've railroaded long enough to go ten times around the earth. I'm too old to drive this train, but I still love to hear the whistle blow. Started making railroad green along. Whether it's a highball or a free winding slow. Too old to drive the train, but I love to hear the whistle blow. Now I have a gold watch with my name inscribed within. Feels like I've just started, but I know I'm near the end. You might not want to hear it. Here it is, my friend. Your bones will rattle with the clickety-clack on that you can depend. I am too old to grab this train, but I still love to hear the whistle blow. Started making railroad green a long, long time ago. Whether it's a highball or a freight wagon. Slow. Too old to drive the train. I love to hear the whistle blow. Hey, if you liked that video, do me a favor, like and subscribe. And why not watch this one? <laughs> I